Hey guys, it's Erica and welcome to the Patreon. So today I'm talking all about how I passed my ultrasound registries on the first try. You guys are always asking me in my Instagram DMs, underneath YouTube videos, what did you use to pass? What did you use to pass? What did you use to pass? And I tell you guys all the same thing. I use ultrasoundregistryreview.com. So today I just wanted to give you guys a full breakdown of the website, how it works, the packages that they offer, and just kind of give you guys some insight on what I chose and what you don't need and what you don't need to pay for. So let's just go ahead talk all about that show you guys the website and yeah Okay, so this is ultrasoundregistryreview.com, and basically what it is is it does review courses, practice exams, and everything you need to know about whatever specialty you're studying in ultrasound. So as you can see at the bottom, they have abdominal, OB, breast, vasculature, um, echocardiography, fetal echo, and your basic sonography principles and instrumentation, which is your SBI or physics exam. So I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit just so you can get an idea of what the website looks like. Now I'm gonna go up to the top and show you guys exactly how it works. So under registry preparation, you'll see the different types that they have. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna click on OBGYN because you guys know that's my favorite. And the screen is loading for you guys. So as you can see right here, OBGYN registry review, what it does is it gives you these courses, right? So each course will talk about different things. We have general information, embryology in the first trimester, pregnancy, um, fetal assessment, 2D and Doppler, just going down the different things that you're gonna need to know. And I'll keep scrolling. And now what I'm gonna do is click on the free trial so you guys can see exactly what you're gonna get. So as I showed you at the top, you see the course sections. Now when I click on free trial, what it's gonna do is show you one of the course sections so you know what that's gonna look like. So what they're giving you is female pelvic anatomy. And as you can see, it goes through the different quadrants with you, the nine regions, tells you what's in them. You're also gonna get a lot of pictures and quadrants, Addison's nine regions, anatomy, and just, it's basically a, sheet for each section that they gave you and a lesson for each section so here's the sections hopefully i'm not rolling too fast for you guys but here are the sections right here they give you plenty of pictures plenty of things to study all your ligaments pelvic ligaments everything that you need to know about the pelvic anatomy scrolling for you guys as you can see and each section that we saw will each get a lesson just like this with pictures and information for you to go through so we're approaching the bottom and what it's going to say is click here to register so I'm going to go ahead and click to register and I want to show you guys the different packages that they offer so you have your one month package multiple course package and your two month package I personally would recommend the one month package so I'm going to go down and show you guys what you're gonna get and what you need based on how much money you can spend on this so at the very bottom you can see there's specialty based click to learn exams and it's 40 bucks now if you're someone who can't afford to get the whole package but you can afford 40 bucks I would get this basically you go through different exams and when you click on the exam and you click through and you answer something incorrectly they'll give you the right answer and the reason why it was incorrect it's a great way for you to learn and a great way to realize what you did wrong while you're learning now we go up to the one month review course and mock exam. What it is, is it'll give you the exact same thing. You get the course access, which is those detailed lessons that I showed you. You'll also get the click to learn exams, which show you what you got wrong during exams. And you also have four mock exams, which are mock registries that are time allotted. So underneath that, you see that they have review courses. That's what we talked about earlier. That's the little section that shows you guys the lessons and all the pictures and stuff like that. Those are your review courses. If you're someone who can just study those and go by those, and that's some Thing. but for me I'd rather have some sort of test or some sort of practice exam so that I can at least see if I really know what I think I know so I would definitely recommend the specialty based click to learn exams or the one month review course that has everything now you can also get the specialty based mocked exams but what I don't like about these is first of all a single attempt is 15 bucks so if you want to practice your mock exam for $15 I would rather get the whole program and continuously practice it over and over again you can get a package of four attempts for 50 bucks but still I would rather get the whole thing and actually be able to practice as many times as I want and I don't like the fact that you don't know what you did wrong after you did it that's why I enjoy the click to learn exams so full overview real quick the one that I would choose for if you can afford it I think it's usually a hundred bucks the top the one month access is a hundred dollars I would get that it gives you your um, 
lessons so you can go over your lessons you can do your click to learn exams and you also have your mock exams it gives you plenty of practice and what i love too about this program is that if you need to review it for more than one month you can pay like 15 to 20 bucks you don't have to redo the whole 100 dollars. so the next thing that i talked about was the review courses someone who can just look review over those lessons and get it down then that's great <laughs> you got that um specialty based mock exams are just the exams by themselves with no type of reinforcement on why you got the thing wrong or why you got your answer wrong and specialty based click to learn exams are awesome because they at least give you immediate feedback for each question and why you got it wrong and you know how to improve what you need to study and go over so basically that is it for the registry review course exam pricing this is ultrasoundregistryreview.com this is the website that i use to pass all of my registries on the first try you're just going to go down here put in the information um, you just do all this stuff and fill it in and pick the one that you want to use. This right here is awesome, you guys. It's definitely a must-have. I know they talk about babies and all the different types of books that you can purchase. They'll also give you some when you're in school, but this right here was enough for me to pass it the first time, and I only studied for two weeks, passed both my SPI and my OBGYN the first time. This website is amazing. Okay, so that is what I used to pass my registries on the first try or the first time. I studied for two weeks, so basically as soon as I was done with school, I went ahead and applied to take my registry the soonest that they would let me. And I think it was like two weeks away. I went ahead and took that slot. I studied for two weeks and that was it for both registries. I had to take my SPI first and then when I passed my SPI, I went on to take my OB registry. And I used both, um, both of those I used at the exact same website. I studied every single day. Um, sometimes I would skip days, honestly, <laughs> but for the most part, I did study. Like, honestly, I did study every single day, but I did not full on study every single day, if that makes sense. So um, you're able to look it up on your phone. You're able to look it up on your computer. So I had access to it right in my hand and I would just be in the car and I would just kind of, you know, go through the questions and kind of play with it just for two weeks. Sometimes I would sit all out and sit at Panera. So, you know what? I want to give you guys something to go by because a lot of you guys are going to be like, what did you do exactly? And it's different for everybody. But what I will say is probably four times out of the week, I would sit for a few hours at a restaurant and actually truly study. And then other times I would just kind of look at my phone and glance at it and kind of um, go through the multiple choice and just kind of go through the questions. And that was kind of my thing for two weeks and I was able to pass on the first try. So I hope that gave you all the information that you need. If you're still kind of hung up on what you need to do, make sure to comment down below. Like I say all the time, this is our community. This is our place to be successful in this career field. So if you have any questions, any comments, concerns, anything, go down below, talk to each other, get to know each other. Yeah, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.